Not how I expected the uh, win streak to end, but the Raptors fall 110-106 to the Charlotte Hornets. Ah, this, this, it just grinds my gears to see how the Raptors had their day off against Orlando after they were shooting ridiculously. And Charlotte played last night and got absolutely destroyed. You know, I mean, well, they didn't play a good game, let's put it that way. And... And then they come, and then Charlotte comes out tonight, not shooting the ball well. But the Raptors didn't really shoot it well either. I mean, it, it came back around. Obviously, shooting forty six percent, they shot forty five percent. But the big reason this team lost is their three point defense. You know, their defense from outside was no good in this game. Fifty percent from three. So the, the Charlotte Hornets uh, shot sixteen for thirty two. They made sixteen threes. That's very difficult to try and win a game when you're giving up that many threes. You know, and, and plus when only you're making 11 and 36%. Not that that's really, really bad. But the other team's shooting better. A, a lot better. And it, it really hurt. You know, it, it, Kemba Walker was all hush-hush the whole game. And then fourth quarter, bang. Just knocked down some big shots. Ugh. You win, you, you win some, you lose some. Am I mad they lost? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really upset that they lost because I, I wanted to see their longest win streak of the season, especially against a team who has not played well of late. You know, they're not, they're barely hanging on to their playoff lives. And then you lose at home. It just doesn't sit too well. I mean, if we're thinking about a huge positive, the Raptors, again, their ball movement in this one still really good. They get 23 assists in this game. So they're moving the ball really well. But again, their fourth quarter defense was nowhere to be found. You look at the breakdown. 22-19 after the first quarter. Really defensive quarter. Or just guys weren't making, shot, making shots at all. 28-28 after the second quarter. So normally what you're seeing in this day and age of basketball. 27-16 Raptors after... Or that was in the third quarter. You know, you play really good defense. You go from giving up 16, 16 points in that third quarter to giving up 44 points in the fourth. I mean, that's a recipe for a loss right there. It's great you scored 32, but they scored 44 points against you in that fourth quarter. That is no good whatsoever. I mean, if you're playing like that against Charlotte, you can't be playing like that against Washington Boston, Cleveland, any team like that, because they're going to make you pay even worse than that. But, you know, when you have guys like Kemba Walker, who, when he's having a really bad shooting night, 28% still finds a way to impact their team. I mean, that's what Kyle Lowry is to the Toronto, uh, the Toronto Raptors. He's a guy that even if he's not shooting well one night, he, he helps in other ways. But we don't have that right now. You know, you have DeMar DeRozan who had a big night, 28 points, 8 assists and 6 rebounds. He obviously had a huge night, but he only shot 11, 11 of 24 for 45%. Again, Serge Ibaka was 4 of 12. He was had a really, really shaky first half. Damari Carroll, 1 of 5. I mean, he was back in this one, but he only knocked down the 1-3. And, I mean, he had a rough night as well. And, I mean, Corey Joseph had a good one, 18 points, 7 boards, 5 assists. He was big. JV was 14 points, 15 rebounds. Now that he was, he was massive, 5 of 6 shooting. But again, it's your fourth quarter defense. And what I didn't like, and I'm not just going to blame Coach Casey, I'm not going to blame anybody, but I noticed JV came back into the game with, like, what, 6 minutes left in the, in the fourth quarter. The guy was electric in that third quarter. I had a feeling, yes, he was going to sit to start that fourth quarter. It made sense. Give him a little bit of juice back in him, put him about the seven, eight minute mark, and then he'll go right through, which is going to be tough, but he's got to power through it. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if he can do it, but you know what? You got to do what you got to do in this league. He knows that. We all know it. But you put him back in with six minutes left. If I'm not mistaken, he didn't even finish the game. I mean, I, I just don't understand Patrick Patterson had 10 points off the bench. Powell with 10 off the bench. I mean, 
it again, you know, the, the the first three quarters weren't all that bad. You know, for once this season, well, it wasn't for once this season, but for a, rare, a rarity, the Raptors blow a lead and don't just come back and win. You know, that's what we're used to, obviously, the double-digit leads coming back and winning those games. Well, they were down double digits and came back and took like an 8, 10, you know, it might even been higher than 10-point lead. And then they blew it. Again, that fourth quarter was just not a pretty quarter whatsoever on the defensive end. It was it was awful. I think you guys can attest to that that it was just a quarter you never you don't want to see. And I think we you know we saw one of those quarters not too long ago. I forgot which team we faced. If you guys can let me know which game that was where it was like it was fine, fine, but we had an abysmal like third quarter or something, and that's what killed it right there. And that was with this game. You give up sixteen points, and then you give up forty four in the next quarter. I mean. Goodness me, like, oh, consistency, consistency. You got to play a full 48, you know, not 36 minutes. You got to play 48 minutes, and that's it. But they only played 36 minutes, and that's the reason they lost this game. It sucks. <sighs> you know, and it really does suck that the Boston, uh, Boston Milwaukee game is so close. And it looks like Milwaukee might even come away with that. So that would have that would have helped the Raptors big time, but doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Maybe we can get some help from uh, from the Clippers against Washington or against, yeah against Washington. But ah, they just let this one slip away, and this is the game I think the Raptors might look back at like after the season's over, and if they needed that one game, and say that's a game we really needed, and that's a game we should have won. Not just because of the team we're playing. It's a situation we were in after three quarters. But they couldn't close out the game. And that's the reason they lost. It sucks, but it's reality. You see, you know what? We got to move on from this game. You know, I know it sucks, but we've got to just throw that loss away, throw that fourth quarter away, and move on to the next one, right? We play Friday night again. This is game three. Well, coming up is game three of the four-game homestand. And Indiana comes to town uh, once again. Obviously, this is what? The second of third time we're going to see. Or the second of three times we're going to see them. You know, I think next time is uh, in Indiana. And um, last time we played Indiana, I mean, we played a really, really good game. Both sides of the ball. It was 110-92, something like that. They played a really solid game on both ends of the floor. That's a game this team needs right about now, you know, especially since they uh, play Philadelphia on the Sunday, right? So they need to get a good game against Indiana, get the win, go into Philly, or, you know, Philly comes to town, beat them. You're right back in the win column after your one loss. That's what the Raptors need to do is rebound, no pun intended, rebound after this loss. It sucked the fourth quarter, but you got to be able to fight the, you know, fight the, uh, I don't know what the word is I should use, but you gotta fight it, right? And you gotta you gotta really grind, and that's what this team's got to do. So you know what, guys, that is gonna do it for this one. If you guys enjoyed the video, and you know it was a heartbreaking loss, hit that like button. I do appreciate that. Hit that subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below. And again, what do you guys thought? What you guys think of this game? What you think of that fourth quarter? I don't know if I'm the only person thinking about the JV situation as uh, kind of could have should have managed that a little bit differently. But I could be the only one thinking that. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow night. Leafs edition as they're down in Nashville taking on the Predators. You know, they're looking to uh, continue the role. And, you know, they obviously won last night against Florida. Looking to win in Nashville. It'd be a big one. And also, like we've been talking about, Raptors edition Friday night. As we've been saying, back at the Air Canada Center taking on the Indiana Pacers. We'll see you guys then.